Next, uh, the record collectors uh, would like to uh, induct Mr. Don Mosley into our Hall of Fame. Uh, Don was born in, on a small farm in Columbus, Mississippi, and he entertained himself by playing the harmonica with melodies that he made up at the time. But little did Don know at that time that this would benefit him greatly in his adult life. At age 15, Don applied for and got a job as a DJ announcer at a local radio station, WACR, in Columbus, uh, Mississippi. Although he was just a sophomore in high school, uh, he uh, went to work at the station, and in a short period of time, he was opening up in the morning, uh, going off to school, coming back in the afternoon and working, and closing down the station at night. About this time, Don and four friends formed a band called the pre Dawn Five, in which Don was a lead singer. Uh, they sang at the local high schools and colleges, but soon uh, that uh, came to the uh, Gulf Coast, where they played at Gus Stevens in the Vapor's Lounge in Biloxi, Mississippi. While he was in Biloxi, they uh, appeared on a national TV show called Where the Action Is. Mm -hmm. And they was on the uh, bill with Paul Revere and the Raiders, the Knickerbockers, and Gary Lewis and the Playboys. Soon the band headed west and ended up in Los Angeles, where they played at a place called the Club Hullabaloo. And it was also on national TV. The band got a long-term gig at a restaurant and nightclub out in the San Fernando Valley. And soon, uh, the bass player ran off with Johnny Rivers, and the band dissolved. <laughs> so Don headed back south, where he worked in radio in Mississippi, Florida, and Alabama. Soon, he got a job in Birmingham at WSGN, where he became one of the good guys. If you remember that, we all listened to the good guys. While he was at WHHY in Montgomery, Don wrote and recorded and produced his first jingle at the radio station. And that talent that he developed uh, while playing that harmonica on the, phone, on the farm came to pass. Don soon began booking section, uh, sessions at Bowell Studios in Birmingham to record jingles. Don soon moved to Birmingham and he and Ed Bowell of Bowell Studios formed a production company with the main purpose of producing jingles. In 1974, uh, Don bought the Sound of Birmingham recording studio, which he presently owns and manages. Over the years, Don has written and produced over 500 jingles, many of them national, and in the advertising industry, Don has won over 100 Addy Awards and two Clio Awards. Some of the celebrities that Don has worked with uh, and recorded is President George Bush, Roy Orbison, Kenny Rogers, Temptations, The Blind Boys of Alabama, Reuben Studdard, Jake Hess, Blackwood Brothers, Vince Dooley, Gene Barto, and listen to this one, Charles Barkley. How good is that? And Don has also worked and recorded with these past uh, Record Collectors Hall of Fame conductees, Shelley Stewart, Eddie Kendricks, our own Henry LaVoy, Larry Parker, Country Boy Eddie, Jerry McCain, Roscoe Robinson, Doug Layton, John Ed Willoughby, Bray on the Stream, Tommy Charles, Les Hollyfield, Bunky Anderson, just a, and in just a minute, Dan Penn. Don and his wife Betty live in Best Stadium of Hills, and they have two sons and four grandsons. The Birmingham Record Collectors are pleased to honor Don Mosley by electing him to the class of 2013 into the Birmingham Record Collectors Music Hall of Fame. I just want to say thanks. Uh, it's quite an honor to be standing on a stage with the distinguished crowd that we have today. Uh, I feel the least of it. But, uh, 
Nevertheless, I'm happy to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you.